Cartoon recaps here, today I will be recapping the movie called The Troll Hunters, Rise of the Titans. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins with a backstory of a war between the humans and the trolls. The most powerful wizard called Merlin, sorted to maintain peace by forging a very powerful weapon called the Trolls Hunter Hamlet. Numbers of years, trolls has always been chosen by the armlet to ensure peace in both the human word and the troll world. But after the failure of the last chosen troll, the armlet for the first time chose a human to protect the realms. The troll hunter is called Jim Lake Jr., who talks about his entire adventures and hardships of being a troll hunter. Fortunately for him, he has his friends to assist him. Although he is was able to save the world, the troll hunter could not save himself. The troll hunter armlet was destroyed by the malevolent wizards, known as the Arcane Orders. Known as the bad guys. But suddenly one of the Arcane Order member decides to follow the righteous part, while the other wizards are on the hunt for her. But at this point of the armlet being destroyed, the world will be in even much more greater danger than ever. Back to the present day, Wizard Duxy and the former Arcane member called Nari are being chased and later on, attacked by the other members of the Arcane Order. They want to take Nari back with them. During the attack, former troll hunter Jim and his girlfriend Claire pickers to assist. Even his best friend called Toby, with his friendly troll, and his other friends are Colterran, Steve Palchuk, and Stuart also came to assist. Their plan is to put a kind of radiation on the moving train, so as to prevent the arcane orders from using their magic. But unfortunately, their plan is destroyed when Toby tries to stop the train, and ended up snapping the train's brake. Hearing this, Jim goes to fight one of the arcane order but gets ultimately defeated and injured. Eventually the arcane orders defeats the heroes, and are to take Nari away, but Wizard Duxy who has already promised to protect her, tries to stop them from taking her away. But seeing there is no much of a choice, he then switches body with Nari so they can take him instead as well deceiving the order into thinking he's Nari. The cops arrested them for the mess that they made and interrogate them. But Toby who isn't being straightforward on answers really frustrated the cops. Soon they are rescued by their crew and they all head to their basement, which is the new rebuilt Camelot. Jim wakes up from unconsciousness and surrounded by his mom and stepfather, who has been watching him day and night. His stepfather, who is also his school principal, reveals to him concerning his engagement to his mom, and asks him to be his best man. Jim hears this and gladly accepted. Blinky a troll and a mentor, tells the heroes about the Arcane Order's plan to raise the Titans from the dead. That what they plan to do is to wipe out the human existence, therefore making Earth to look like its first creation. On the other hand, the Arcane Orders have already started their ritual to raise the Titans. But as the spell begins, it doesn't seem to work. They then finds out that Nari isn't the one in her body but Duxy. Immediately they perform a spell, making their souls to switch back to their bodies. Duxy informs the heroes on Nari whereabouts, and Claire immediately teleports them to the location. The heroes find the Arcane Orders already completing the rituals. They try to stop them but the Genesis Shield is protecting them, and as they tried everything they can to destroy the shield, unfortunately they weren't able to do it on time, making the Arcane Orders to finally complete their rituals. Sadly, the Titans started to rise. At Greenland a Titan with the body of a ice awakened, and it is controlled by one of the Arcane Orders, and another one rised at Brazil, and this one is controlled by Nari, who wasn't herself again. And this titan has the body of a plant. And finally at South China Sea, a last titan awakened with a body of a lava, controlled by the final arcane member. The heroes holds a meeting, and Blinky tells them that the only thing that can help them combat the titans is the Crone Sphere, which is in the possession of troll dragons. But Krulteran is worried that since the troll hunter armlet is destroyed, they wouldn't still be a worthy opponent against the titans. Jim then finds out that the only way to confront the Titans is by using the Excalibur. The heroes then decided to split up into three group. The first group comprises Stuart and Kroll who are to get the Merlin Excalibur, while Claire is to lead another team to find the Crone Sphere, while Jim and the others will do everything they can to stop the Titans. Duxy and Nomura goes to stop the brainwashed Nari, while Toby and Jim are defending against the Ice Titan. Duxy uses his magic to hold off Nari Titan so to give Nomura the chance to stop Nari. Unfortunately as Nomura is about to stop her, Nari catches her and kill her instantly. On the other hand Jim's stepfather has no choice but to protect his family by sacrificing himself, to destroy the Titan through suicide bombing, just to save the rest of them. But unfortunately, the sacrifice is in vain as they as the Titan still rose back from the dead. Jim and Toby sees the lava Titans heading towards the bridge which means, lots of people life is in danger. But fortunately, Kroll unleashed her secret weapon, 
which is a giant gun robot to stop the lava titan from getting to the bridge. Jim and Toby are so amazed by it. After a long fight, the giant gun robot defeated the lava titan. While they are celebrating its defeat, it awakened again in this time, it totally destroys the giant gun robot. Claire and her team is able to steal the crone sphere, and the heroes finally reunited again after their missions. So their plan now is to find Nari according to Duxy's suggestions, so he can talk to her into being herself again. As the whole crew finally gets to Nari, Duxy was finally able to reach out to her, and bringing back her memories. Now for the heroes having Nari now means, they now have one titan on their side. Claire is able to teleport Nari to where the ice titan is, and the two titans goes on a one-on-one -on -one combat. After a long fight, the two of them pierce themselves, killing each other. Now it's just one titan left, the lava titan. So into to be matched for the last titan, Jim has to pull out the Excalibur from the stone. And after a long trial, he is able to pull the sword out of the stone. The heroes quickly made it to where the titans was. Now Jim must slay the last arcane order so as to bring the titan down. After a long fight, the, the arcane order defeated him in a fight and as she was about to end him, Stuart finally fixed the armlet. And Jim is able to transform into Troll Hunter again and with Toby's support, Jim is able to slay the arcane order, and the titan is put to the ground for good. While they are celebrating, Jim gives all the credits to Toby for supporting him, but realizes he doesn't see him anywhere. After pulling some few rocks out, he finds Toby who is being crushed by the rocks, and is already half dead. Toby says his last words to Jim, and died, making the rest of them to be so devastated especially Jim. When Jim sees the crone sphere and realizes that it can take him back to time to fix things, Jim they makes a decision to go back in time, right from when he first became a troll hunter and when Toby was alive. Jim says his goodbye to every one of them and goes back in time. And from there him and Toby continues their troll hunting adventures again. Thank you for watching guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.